Hey guys, Steve Burton. John Gustin. How y'all doing? Happy uh, Saturday night. Um, obviously, we're not out tonight. Too old for that. <laughs> uh, hope you're having a great weekend so far. So, you guys, they're building an audience for us. There's Denise. Denise! Like <clears throat> we'll just say, uh, we'll just uh, say hi to everybody that's getting on right now because they're building a little audience. Hey, Nikki. Uh, Dinah. Dinah joined us. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Don. Cool. All right, the numbers are going. And the hearts and thumbs are flying. Amazing. Hey, Angie. Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Your product will be there soon. I'm just going to go over, over this real quick. Um, and the reason we're getting on is to, to really answer questions about weight loss and exercise because we've been getting a ton of questions through the Facebook page, through Instagram, uh, through the website. And so two weeks ago, we launched Burton Nutrition. It's always been a passion of ours. John and I have been talking about it for seven years plus. Um, he's a trainer, certified in nutrition. My wife's certified in nutrition. I'm getting certified in nutrition. It's been our lifestyle. That's why we launched BurtonNutrition.com. And, uh, you know, the first thing we, we wanted to do was provide a great shake because we've always taken protein shakes for as long as I can remember. And we use it daily, sometimes twice a day. And we use it for, you know, I use it for a meal. You can use it for a snack or recovery. If you go on the website, you can check out the great recipes that are dietitian approved for either one of those, meal, snack, or recovery. Uh, the benefits of whey protein are incredible. You can go on the website also and go and go see why, why the Get Fit Shake. Click that tab at the top and it'll give you all the benefits of whey protein. It's not just about muscle building. There's so many more benefits um, that come from whey. So go check that out. We're excited to build a community here for people who, you know, who want to lose weight and uh, get a healthier lifestyle and stick together and be lifted up and held accountable because that's the biggest thing that I see uh, when I talk to people. And, you know, John trains a lot of people, but the, the main thing for, for a lot of people that I speak to is about community because both John and I have a huge passion for this. He's a great personal trainer and he can answer the, the exercise questions. Um, and obviously nutrition, and I can answer the nutrition question. So, um, let's let's get it started. I think we're going to answer some questions. Hi, hello, Sandy. <clears throat> Thank you. Challenge. When, when will the challenge start? Okay, so so are we gonna? I don't know if we're gonna do the day it starts, but here's what's gonna happen. Products going out. Uh, finally going out at half, I think half the shipments went out Friday and half are going out Monday. So this week we'll get the product and then we're going to go from, from there. I'll, obviously you guys know I'll be on the road for Port Chuck this week, but I, I'll be working obviously on this and, uh, you know, everybody's going to get their link to the webinar that we're going to do a weekly webinar, um, and use the Facebook page for our community page at Burton Nutrition. So soon. <clears throat> I get it here. I'll, I'll start with my own questions because <laughs> because people ask me a lot. If you can't work out every day, how many days should you work out? John, I'll let you answer that. And I'll um, if you can't work out every day, how many? Well, I don't work out every day. Uh, do you work out every day? No. Uh, your body needs rest. Recovery is very, um, I guess, overlooked. Everybody thinks more is better. And with working out, more is not always better. Your body needs to repair itself. Um, that's where nutri good nutrition comes in and uh, rest recovery, which is sleeping and drinking a lot of water, uh, there's, which goes into nutrition. But um, I would suggest anywhere from, pro if you're a beginner, I would suggest about three days working out, that's resistance training with your own body weight or maybe a little weight, and then walking, you know, I posted on Instagram um, about the benefits of walking and that's again something that's overlooked people don't think it's as you know because it's not intense it doesn't do anything it does do something so um absolutely and i think just from a beginner standpoint um you know I, i'm helping a guy right now with his nutrition and the only exercise he can do is he walks about 45 minutes at lunch mm -hmm. i mean if you could walk a half an hour a day that's great if you're a beginner just just beginning in either changing your your uh nutrition and just getting a healthier lifestyle 
walking has huge benefits. And there's a lot of things that are overlooked that, that we get questions about all the time. I was, uh, when I went actually to pick up the product, um, I had to get a big U-Haul and <laughs> to get it back in time to ship it out. And the guy at the U-Haul place was like, hey, what are you doing here? And I said, oh, I'm picking up a product. And he's like, oh man, what are the, what are the things that I should, what are the easy things to change my lifestyle? You know, and I, the first thing, you know, obviously cut the sugary drinks, anything with high fructose corn syrup, out. Uh, make sure you're getting a lot of water. You know, that's, that's really huge. The benefits of water are amazing. Um, and walking, people, people just are pretty sedentary a lot of times. You just gotta start walking. Um, you know, obviously there's more that you can do, but it's baby steps. <coughs> I don't know how to eat healthy food. What? Can you come out? Well, you know what? Healthy food is whole foods. That's another question I get. Um, whole foods, nothing processed. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna send everybody a uh, PDF on food choices. So hopefully that'll help. Steve, my son is a college athlete. Is there anything in the protein powder prohibited? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Um, there's pretty much like four ingredients in there and it's all natural, so you're good. <coughs> Excuse me. What about green tea if you don't like water? Uh, Nanette, here's the good news and bad news. Green tea is an amazing antioxidant for you. You have to drink water. So how do we drink water that, that makes it a little easier? Start with some sparkling water with no sugar. Start with some water with fruit inside, whether it's lemon or some, you know, one of those infusers. Um, start with, try, try that first. And uh, green tea is also a diuretic, so it's gonna dehydrate you, so you need to drink even more, more water, water. If, you're ha if you're drinking coffee or green tea. Is there shipping to Canada? Yes, Kim, there is shipping to Canada right now. It's a little pricey because we're shipping from here. We're trying to find a fulfillment place there. Do you guys know what exercises I can do to strengthen my joints and muscles without being, oh geez, there's so many questions coming in. Without being uh, plantar fasciitis and major gallbladder. Stuff I do, uh, uh, stuff I do a lot of strain in joints. You know what? It's pretty like, complex question, but I mean, uh, like I said, the benefits of body weight exercise is huge. Even no matter what level you're at, I can make it super difficult for him, myself, or I uh, take an 80 year old woman um, with bad joints and have her move her own body weight. So it's really, I would have to really assess you in person and see what movements. I mean, there's a lot that goes into that assessment, but. Um, you know, people, again, think they need to do something extreme or a lot. They have to do a lot of weight or, or really go intense with it when sometimes it's just your own body weight is all you need. And we're going to be putting up body weight challenges, basic ones, and everyone should just take it at, at, at their own time and their own level, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, there's unfortunately, there's not a quick fix or a perfect plan for everybody because everybody's so individually different. Um, that we kind of have to feel our way and you got to find out what works for you and we you know and I, I finally figured out what worked for me after years of studying and trying every diet and working out and uh, you know hopefully I can guide you to that point. Wow we missed a lot of questions. <clears throat> um, safe for pregnant woman. Yes my wife uh, was on protein shakes with every baby that we had. All right, hi. Lots of hearts, I love it. So while we have a little break here, um, just you know, go check out BurtonNutrition.com because people are asking about flavors, chocolate, there's vanilla, uh, coming out with strawberry, vegans coming soon, got a great fat burner. Um, it's a great uh, supplement that you know, boosts energy, which I actually took one today, which was awesome before my workout. Um, boost metabolism and your energy, so it's really great. <clears throat> What's the first thing to do when starting out? Well, Ooh. the first thing you do is get your meal plan in order. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the reasons people fail um, with their meal plan is because they're not prepared. So it's a plan, right? If you have a goal in anything, you have to write it out. You have to write it down. So if you're planning to change your diet or 
Uh, start a meal plan. We got to write it out. We got to plan it. We got to be prepared for the week. Uh, we prepare food for the week, and um, it's you know it's easy to do, but it's not always simple. You know because um, life gets in the way. But you can make an effort to change your lifestyle, and your health is the most important thing that you have because without it, we're not here. So. If people focus on that and you write down your meal plans and you're prepared, you're going to set yourself up for success. <clears throat> people always say, or always either fail or, or you know, don't follow through because they're not prepared. That's, that's the bottom line. So once we figure out what your meal plan is, the basic starting is drink more water, uh, cut out sugary foods, um, eat whole foods, uh, eat, eat uh, five to six small meals a day. Um, the shake's great because we don't get a lot of nutrient, all the nutrients that we need. So the shake can actually be a meal replacement, like we said, or snack or recovery. So I'm going to be going over this a lot on the webinars, and we're going to be posting a lot of stuff on the Burton Nutrition Facebook page that, that coincides with what we're talking about here. <clears throat> right? So we just need to make a change. And everybody can do it. And I know people always get frustrated and, you know, have given up or quit, but you got to keep trying because health is so important. I mean, I talked to a lot of people who have type 2 diabetes. This is something that can be changed by diet. That's the bottom line. So find that reason to change. What's the reason? Is it your grandkids? Is it your kid? What's that reason you want to change and, and, and get healthy? Is it for you? You want to look better? You want to feel better? Because we'd be lying to say that, you know, um, when we work out and, and our clothes fit right and we look good in the mirror and all that stuff, if you just feel better about yourself. So the change is important and you can do it and we're going to create the community for support. <clears throat> yes, it tastes very good. Let me see some other questions that I, what I, I've been getting. You missed a lot. Oh, did I miss a ton? Was I oh, talking yeah, so much? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I've lost 85 pounds on my own, which is amazing. That's yaya. Yeah, yeah. Hit a plateau. I'm very picky about taking anything. I've researched so far about yours. is awesome. I actually love what you say. There is no quick fix. That's correct. Hey, yaya, yeah, yeah. awesome job. 85 pounds is not easy. That's, that is so, so much dedication and discipline and willpower. Congratulations, first and foremost, on that alone because that's huge. <clears throat> People are going to plateau. That's what happens when, when you diet or you're in an exercise routine. Uh, for exercise, oh man, I'm stuck at 20 push-ups. Well, there's ways to get pushed past those plateaus, which we're going to tell you about. And with diet, there's ways to push past those plateaus also. So we're going to encounter a lot of things together and get to push through those things together and learn about those things. So I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm working so this business. Much, so much more to come. Too much more. Way too much. How do you order it in the store? You order it online, burtonnutrition.com. Alicia, hi. If you're diabetic and lose weight, can you come off? Tina, you always have to check with your doctor about anything yep. um, with, with, you know, obviously diabetes or any health issues or medications. Um, listen, I know plenty of people who are type 2 di diabetic and with proper nutrition and some exercise, uh, they've gotten better. That's what I can say. The results are great. Susan's trying a new diet at the moment. Okay. Hopefully it's not the military diet. <clears throat> um, I've tried other protein powders and they taste off, awful. Off, whatever. Yeah. Off. How does yours compare? Ours tastes great. Uh, taste is number one. Okay, that's the number one thing I was looking for. Well, not the number one. Obviously, I want all natural ingredients made with stevia and no sugar, but taste is so important. And I got the, I, I, we made the powder and we got it and the kids love it. And that's always my gauge. If the kids can, can drink it and love it, then I, then we're in the right uh, ballpark for that. Sorry here. Thank you. Looking forward to trying this out. I've changed my eating habits the last three months. Have, and haven't lost a single pound. Been exercising is driving me nuts. I'm hoping this will help out. Kathleen, uh, you know, again, that's great that you're doing that. Don't give up because this is why people give up. Do not give up. Um, 
obviously I can't assess you, John can't assess you because we don't know exactly what you're eating, you know, what calories you need for the day, uh, your, your exercise output. So um, hang in there and, you know, it's going to work. <clears throat> Josie, my daughter's 16 and 170 pounds. She wants to lose weight and what would be a great plan for her? <sighs> well, number one is what she's eating. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Um, people, again, and I'm going to sound repetitive half the time because people are asking me a lot of the same questions, which I, I'm cool with. Um, anytime you can stay away from processed foods, you're going to start losing weight. You're going to eat, you're going to be eating healthier foods that have nutrients. You're going to start really just getting healthier because you're, the process is now out. It's really simple. If people stop the sugary drinks, the sugar, and you don't have to cut yourself off of all sugar, but watch your sugar intake, um, processed foods, drink more water. People would feel amazing right out of the gate. Then if you start adding some supplements, um, exercise, and now you all of a sudden you're changing your life, you know? So it's always about what people eat. It's always about calorie intake when people are gaining weight. It's always about calorie intake. So you have to look at the calorie intake and you have to look at exactly what she's eating. Hey, Shauna. <clears throat> John, when you prepare your food for the week, you keep it in the fridge or <laughs> freeze it. Um, the best thing for planning your food um, is the crock pot. The crock pot is awesome because you can cook um, bulk. I usually don't prepare more than like three days um, and I put it in the fridge. I don't really do frozen meals. You can, but um, I, I like to cook the fresh food, put it in the fridge, and then um, after three days, usually um, do another meal prep there. Is there a list of ingredients on the website? Yes, Sharon. If you go to the uh, product, click buy now, and then the product will pop up and then scroll down to the bottom and the list of ingredients is right there. Steve, hello. Hi, Tony. Natalie, Dawn. Carolina, I'm off insulin shots. Next goal, cut the pills by half. Carolina, I know you can do it. You know you can too. Debbie, is sugar the raw better than the raw than sugar? Here's, here's the big, it's fruit sugar, it's sugar, it's sugar. sugar. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Your body processes it the same way. Unless it's high fructose corn syrup, let's just take that out of the equation and get that out of your body because your body doesn't even process that. It actually gets stuck in your liver and that's not good, okay? Um, sugar, it, sugar is sugar. Your body is gonna, gonna turn it into glucose and use it for, for energy. What it does not use for energy, it will be then stored as fat, no matter what it is. Yeah. The reason that, that obviously like an apple has sugar in it, but it also has the other nutrients in the apple, that's why the apple is good and you have fiber in the apple. So again, anytime you can eat fruit sugar over, you know, regular sugar or candy bar, obviously you're gonna take the fruit because the other nutrients. So sugar is sugar though. That's, that's the bottom line. The, the easiest way that a lot of people don't know this, but the fiber slows down the sugar release into your blood. So an easy way to tell if it's a good carbohydrate or a bad carbohydrate is look at the fiber content. It, if it has zero um, fiber in it, then it's probably a bad carbohydrate. It's gonna, um, and, and fat also plays a role in it too, but like sugar in the raw or organic sugar or whatever, people think that that's good for them or that they can have more of that, and that's not true. It's still sugar, but it, it may not be processed as much as the other sugar, but Correct. it's still sugar. Yeah. Hello, so great. To wait. Can't wait to try the product. Awesome. When you prepare the food for the week, how do you keep it from going bad? Refrigerator. <laughs> Thank you so much, you know. Steve, I'll be seeing you. Okay, awesome, Alicia. Let me see. A couple more questions here. 
Mark, hey Steve, was wondering should we take it before or after our workout? <coughs> I'll tell you what I do and then John can. Um, I, you know, if I know I'm going to work out Mark that day, I'll actually have a great big breakfast, my normal breakfast, oatmeal, usually, um, you know, four eggs, five eggs, and a half avocado. That's usually what I have for breakfast if I know I'm going to work out. And then I'll go work out <clears throat> early morning-ish, and when I get home, I actually use it for post-workout on those days. Um, and you know, again, I still put some car, I put some oatmeal in there, I put some almond butter, some fruit. So on days that I work out, I, I time it so I have it after. On days that I'm just doing cardio, I'll actually have a big breakfast shake. Um, so I always I like to mix it up. And then there's times where, like last night, I wanted a little meal before I go to bed because, you know, people on diets or, you know, weight loss people say don't eat after six, which is, I, I feel a bunch of bull because I've always been in the best shape when I would actually have five or six meals a day, no longer than three hours. And then, you know, an hour before bed, I'll have just a scoop uh, of the protein and some almond milk and ice, and that's kind of a snack for me. So I do truly use it as a meal, snack, and recovery. I guess that might answer the question. <clears throat> you should come here in Pittsburgh and do a diet, diet seminar. You know what? That's not a bad idea, and that's what we're probably gonna end up doing. The Fit Brothers will be near you soon. I stopped drinking processed sodas and lost 37 pounds. Wow. Boom, that's huge. When you eat better, you feel so much better, then it kind of falls into place. That's true. Hi, Tony, how are you? These questions are coming in so fast, guys, it's really difficult to, uh, to see everything. <clears throat> How do you eat healthy like that when you're running around or on vacation? Hard to eat organic and it's crazy expensive. You know, Costco carries a lot of organic stuff now, so from a cost point, actually organic's going down a lot. I know there's Aldi that John goes to a lot. Um, very cheap. Very, very cheap, cheap, organic, and Costco. So check those out. And again, you know, running around or vacation, you just gotta be prepared. You just gotta get the food prepared and be ready to roll. Couple more questions, guys. Hey, I've seen the flavors. I love the strawberry flavor. I don't like, okay, well then strawberry is coming soon. Cammy, is it best to eat a larger meal in the morning and a lighter in the evening? <clears throat> Cammy, it's about calorie intake. So I would try to break up those calories fairly evenly between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you would, you would have a snack in between those and maybe a snack even before bed. So um, I don't know exactly how tall you are, how much you weigh, your activity level, um, but you know, usually those meals are gonna be four or 500 calories at the, at the most, um, and then you're gonna have your snacks, which are gonna be 100 calories, 150 calories. So it's not necessarily bigger is better in the morning. Uh, you do definitely wanna eat in the morning. A lot of people skip breakfast, which is the biggest mistake you can do because you want to get your blood sugar level because it's you've been basically um, burning burning fat all night long essentially while you're sleeping um, so don't skip breakfast and bigger isn't always better for breakfast <clears throat> Bonnie I think you've asked this question before what kind of exercise to lose my stomach look the the, 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 the truth is doing sit-ups is only gonna build muscle. Okay, here's the example I always give. Um, when you watch Survivor, if you ever have, and they're losing weight, right? So uh, even they're losing weight, you start seeing their abs. Everybody has abs. Um, so the fat around the abs is, is really nutrition and diet. <clears throat> awesome. Stevie is great. Couple more questions. Thanks, God, I had a personal fitness trainer. That is what she told me to use. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I gotta catch it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Steve John. You can use any, yeah, you can use, that's, what do people use in the shake? People always ask. Water, almond milk, coconut milk. You can use milk. Um, rice, soy, those are all good. Nothing sugary, though. I mean, obviously milk has sugar, but. 
Uh, Catherine, what do you do when you have a crazy schedule? I work night, work night shift and have kids. It's, honestly, it's just being prepared. It's making what you put in your body a complete priority and planning it out. That's, that's really what it is. You have to make it a priority. I mean, I think we all take our health so much for granted sometimes because we just expect to wake up and everything to work properly. Um, but nutrition is so important and you have to make it a priority. Especially, I'm not gonna say especially since you have kids, but you do have kids, so you have to. <clears throat> See, this is the, these are always the great questions because we had another one. What helps with belly fat? Eating correctly, that's what helps with belly fat. Belly fat. Eating correctly and exercising. Uh, there's no magic anything out there. There's things that you can supplement with, but really it's, uh, it's nutrition. Yeah. Nutrition and is key. Essentially you wanna boost your metabolism. <clears throat> that's what's gonna burn the, the fat off your body. So you boost your metabolism by exercising and eating correctly. Yeah, Lisa, uh, you're asking about calorie intake. I always tell people, just go to Google and do your BMR calculator or your or calorie counter calculator, and it'll show you, um, you know, uh, Fitness Pal will show you, hey, you want to lose weight, and this is, you know, these are the calories for your, your height and weight. Uh, if your calorie intake is, say, 1,200, do you calculate what you burn off with exercise? Yeah, I mean, if you're, depending on, on what your exercise is, if it's, you know, easy, moderate, or advanced, um, obviously you have to make up for those calories. So it's again, hard to just give you an actual calorie with a uh, calorie number when I don't know exactly what you're doing, but um, you can check that out. They have all those calorie calculators. How do you boost your metabolism? Della, that's a good question. From all the time that I've been studying um, over the years and, and things that I've done personally, uh, what it comes down to for me is really ever eating every three hours. That, that was the best way to boost your metabolism. You don't want sugar, you don't want your uh, blood sugar to spike and drop and spike and drop because, you know, obviously if you're eating a lot of sugar um, and you're storing it as fat, uh, you want to keep that, your blood sugar level. So um, eating every three, three to four hours, eat, well, three, two to three hours and exercise and water helps your metabolism. Uh, those things all together and uh, you know that's kind of really what gets me going because there's times you know over the last couple of years where I was traveling and I wasn't so prepared and you know it wasn't a super priority for me and I was tired and you know but as soon as I got back home got back into my routine what I've always known that works it immediately changed me again and don't starve yourself that does not boost your metabolism yeah. I, people tell me <laughs> they're on a 500 calorie diets and that your body goes into starvation and actually your metabolism slows down. So you should not be eating 500 calories no matter who you are. Donna Marie, awesome. 52, lost 4% body fat, eat correctly, but I still feel tired all the time. You know, again, I don't know exactly what you're eating. You know, I would, I would if somebody was told me they didn't have a lot of energy, I'd always add a little more complex carbohydrates, you know, sweet potato or some healthy fats um, for energy. Um, you know, I love coffee, so, um, you know, coffee's always good. <laughs> All right, a couple more questions. I know I've said this. Uh, what's the best time a day to exercise? Whenever you can. <clears throat> Dairy, you know, I... So, some people, it's a preference. You know, I like, I like milk in my coffee. Otherwise, I don't eat a lot of dairy necessarily. So, um, you know... You should put all this in a book. Is that what you said? In a sugar smash? Book of book life. Of life. <laughs> so if I drank two shakes a day, two snacks, and a light dinner. Yeah, Della, it's really the, the consistency of, of eating. Um, you could drink one shake a day in the morning. Snack, good lunch, snack, dinner, and a light snack before bed. And you're going to get it rolling. You've got to be drinking a lot, a, a, enough water. Any tips for drinking water is so hard. There's the next. I've heard half your body, body weight. Well, we always go by the eight by eight, 64 ounce rule. Um, also, you can do eight ounces per 20 pounds of what you weigh. So eight ounces per 20 pounds. 
uh, you multiply that and and that's when your your body is fully hydrated if you're working out more you'll want more water so that's always a good gauge the 64 ounces is good you know uh, if you're 120 pounds um, what's that 48 ounces maybe I'm wrong with my math I don't know but that's a good start too what I tell people is you don't have to go from 0 to 100 you don't have to go from drinking oh, I only drink one glass of water today to drinking a gallon just start doubling it. I'm talking to another guy that I've known for a long time He's a good friend of mine and he's he's 50 pounds overweight and uh, I was talking to him I said hey man you know you got to take care of yourself we're not getting any younger your body's carrying around 50 pounds extra that it shouldn't be and you're starting to feel it and uh, it's just a matter of time before the diabetes sets in or high blood pressure um, and I said how's your water intake and he's like man I can't I can't drink water man I just hate it I said you got to drink it you know if you drink a bottle a day for this week just drink two bottles a day and then the week after bump it up to three bottles a day so that's the easy way to do this you don't go from one bottle to a gallon just just add on to it a little bit <clears throat> Hey Megan, uh, Megan, is it Megan? No, it's Megan, it's gotta be Megan. <laughs> Hi Megan. Uh, how many shakes a day? Megan, it's really up to you. It's uh, one shake a day or two shakes a day. Uh, depends on uh, if, you want, if you want it to be easy for you when it comes to meals, because they make great meals and you could do two shakes a day or you could do one shake a day. It's total preference. Um, the thing is if you order two tubs, that's two shakes a day, you have to be consistent with that. You have to be consistent. If you feel like you need to go to one tub a month for one shake a day, then do that. Because you don't want that, that product piling up in your, in your pantry or in your closet or on your counter or you know, kicking it on the way into the house. You want to be taking it and, and using it and following the meal plan. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up. Uh, John, will you do live training again? I lost 35 pounds so far. I miss Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. I think it was workout Wednesday. <laughs> Could have been wacky. Right it's now. pretty wacky. <laughs> Who's the other guy? The other guy is my uh, brother-in-law, John Gustin, trainer to many, 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 many people, and he's a part of the business. Do you do online training? We, we're going to implement the online training again. We're just trying to figure out the platform and how that's going to work exactly. Let me ask you guys this question, and you can answer this. Um, who would be up for doing a boot camp once a week on, let's say, a Saturday? If we, if we hosted a boot camp every Saturday, who would be up for doing something like that? I don't know what it would cost, or I don't know the platform yet, but you know, we're trying to see if there's, there's uh, any interest out there in that type of, type of setup. So obviously we try to make it as cheap as possible so so many people could, could do it. Um, but I, I'm just, I've been looking at the platforms for a while, so. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, geez, we're missing. All right, guys, a couple more questions. A couple more questions, you said that. Answers. Four, five times. I know, I said it a lot. <laughs> we should do the over under how many times you yeah, say yeah. that on our face. Well, I can't stop talking. <laughs> That's the problem. Ten more minutes and then 40 minutes. I know, <laughs> I know. I've got to shut up, but I love this stuff, so. I'm gonna shut up. Hey, do you have a cheat day or does it throw everything off? Kim, uh, I, what I would do is I would not call it a cheat, I would call it a reward, uh, a reward meal. You know, I wouldn't do a cheat day. I fell into the whole cheat day um, illusion and you know, you work hard for six days and then on that seventh day I would eat everything in sight. Pizzas, ice cream, I mean, we were going crazy, me and my wife. And you kind of just ruined all the work you did that week. So. Make it a cheap meal and make it fit into your calorie intake, but make it a cheap meal. Uh, re reward meal, one meal. Can we do this live video often? <laughs> I have been doing it often. <laughs> um, all right, I'm done. I'm done. You sure? No. There's more questions. Hi, let's just say hi <laughs> to people. Hi, man. Hi. Day. Keep talking, love the information you're saying. Repost this video, please. I dropped, dropped you all a few times. Yeah, we'll repost. Depends. Marilyn, did I ever have a weight problem? Uh, you know, I would fluctuate in weight. I wouldn't say it was a weight problem, 
But I would, you know, go up 20, while I was on General Hospital, I would go, you know, I'd fluctuate 15 to 20 pounds during the fall, you know. I used to eat a lot during the fall, and John can vouch for that, and so can my wardrobe at General Hospital, because it was two different sizes. So, um, but I love it, and uh, I love, we just love this, love the nutrition and uh, fitness lifestyle, so. Um, if you guys can, share this video right now, if you would, uh, before we kind of sign off here on Saturday night. Um, if you would, thank you. All right, guys. Um, whoever ordered the shake, it's going to be there this week. Get ready. Look for emails. And um, if you haven't, checked it out yet and you're interested, go to BurtonNutrition.com and check out the products. The shake is awesome tasting, all natural. And, uh, you know, get ready for the journey because we're here and we're ready. All right. Have a good night. Good night.